best and worst movie interpretations. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the movies and stuff I've seen, but I can't think of anything. But I think the start of the worst, it's not the worst thing ever though. Um, it's a time traveller's wife. It's a good movie and I enjoyed the movie, but I think it didn't really have the magic of when I was reading the book. With the book, I thought it was quite magical and oh, but with the movie, there's the spark, there's a spark that it just spark wasn't there, so I thought that was a bit disappointing. Yeah. The, the best, I think, yeah, I'd say Lord of the Rings. Not just because of what the movie was like, the movie was brilliant and everything, but because that each year, because he had it to punctuate each year for about three years, and it was like such a big event, like each year at Christmas. Oh, it's Lord of the Rings time again! It's like, and that's how I really enjoyed it. And, um, after I watched the first movie, I, st I read the books, I read the seven part box set that's really stuck right into my book shelf, so I won't get that out, but it was the story split into the seven seven books, so I read that, and then I saw the rest of the movies, so that's why I thought that was one of the best um, movie uh, movies from a book. I also like when you get the uh, from movie to book and you get a novelisation of the movie because I thought of another thing to explain how I mean um, imagine that the movie is like this beautiful gorgeous feather but it's just floating about flitting and floating about in front of your face and you can't really get a good look at it uh, the novelisation would be a rock and you use the rock to weigh the feather down so you can appreciate the beauty. So that's why I like movie and TV novelisations and I am reading the target books to go with the Doctor Who classic Who stories. So I learn all the all the background and all the jokes and everything and all the characters. So it's so I understand everything more, so yeah, that's what I like. Funniest book you've ever read? I don't really read like, over, like overt funny books, but one of the um, really funny ones I've read is Robert Rankin, The Witches of Cheswick. Um, I thought that was like really cheeky and funny, so yeah, I, I, don't, I haven't actually read any of his other ones yet, but I think that one was particularly amusing. But I don't really read either comedy books, so, that, um, so that's a bit of a tricky question. So. Does reading make you smarter? Definitely, I think it does. And, um, well, I've been reading since I was tiny. I read Topsy and Tim books. I am. So, yeah, I think reading does make you smarty. But I like to um, look things up. And I'm just really curious about everything. So I always like looking in books for information and that. So, yeah, um, books do make you smarty. And I think they are ace. That didn't sound like a very small answer, but I say they do, yes. When do I read? But, um, some... I guess I read a lot um, in bed, like... Um, when it's that just before going to sleep, but... I'll also... Um, but... I do, I just, I read when I want to, really want to get into the story, really want to find out what happens, so there isn't really a set time when I read, but I do read a lot at bedtime, so. So those are the 15 book questions, those are my answers to, I, 
and it'd be fun if all my viewers could do the tag as well. So yeah, do go check out DM Friend Twenty Five and Beauty Isn't Skin Deep because they they've got really cool videos about books and reading and all what all that or what they're interested in and their channels are really cool so yeah they're my answers yeah, i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching